Hi, this is Carl Harvey from C Notes Marketing. I'm here with Mike Daly, and Mike Daly is one of the first owners of a MicroPro in Toronto, if not Canada. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mike, what's that been like for you? It's been great. You know, I, uh, um, I've started selling apps, other apps that I've been carrying around for years. It's all I use now. I use it for, I have a MicroPro 8 that I got about seven months ago from you. <laughs> and uh, that was when we met, yeah. and uh, that's all I use. I use it for uh, big power trio gigs with a drummer. I use them for tiny little folky gigs. I, I use it for absolutely everything. It's my mm -hmm. one amp that I use. Well, what you may not know about Mike, uh, Mike played guitar with Jeff Healy in both of his bands, uh, the jazz band as well as Jeff's uh, rock and blues band, and he's also a musical educator or a music educator in that he's a professor at York University and has taught at other universities teaching uh, music history, uh, I believe popular music. Yep. And this man has got a repertoire of a thousand songs. I can't remember five <laughs> tunes. I can't remember what I played last week. He's got a thousand <laughs> songs in his repertoire. Take us through the amp a bit and, and what you've <clears throat> Okay. found and discovered and what you love about it. Well, what I found out with this amp is that it's really deep and that even though I've been using it uh, heavily for seven months since uh, I got it, I think I've only just scratched the surface. And so you've got, you know, the heart is the voice control here where you have the, the different sort of characters, the full cue, the smooth, lead, surf, brown, and tweed. And honestly, the only ones that I've really used to any extent are the tweed and the surf. And so the tweed is kind of my go-to for, um, like if I'm doing any sort of bluesy thing where I, or when I'm playing with another guitar player and I don't want to cover too much frequency range. Especially the bottom end, right? Right, so it's got a, it sits in a mix really well, a tweed. It cuts and it's just got this beautiful sort of brown softness, you know, so that's what I, go to for a lot of stuff. But if I'm playing in a bigger group, like a trio, if I'm playing a Strat, for example, and I want a big wide sound, I go to the Surf, which to me is the twin mm -hmm. setting, uh, which is what I used to play in that situation until I sold it a couple months ago to buy a quilter extension cabinet. <laughs> um, and your back thanks you. Uh, uh, absolutely, <laughs> well that's the thing, is that I like, to, I like to take transit to gigs. I like to take the TTC. Wow. to a lot of my gigs, and so I do now, and it's no problem. So I just take this, I can take a little pedal board if I want, but most of the time I just go straight in, because it has all the stuff I really need uh, right, so on, right on board. Do you hear that? You can take transit to your gig, Easily. which means you can drink at your gig. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it on the subway, and it's, it's really easy. It's um, just so light and small, and. Uh, and it fits, you know, even on a crowded streetcar, it's, I don't get the, uh, the evil eye from people. Mike, I know you're a great player, so, uh, Thank you. you know, give us something, man. That's so lots of bottom end, lots of top end. Um, another thing I haven't really explored that much is the high cut. I tend to leave it off, because I guess I like... I like having the full spectrum, yeah. you know. So anyway, so there's, that's sort of like a surfy type of thing, maybe cleaner. Tweed, maybe something a little. So that's something a little darker.
that sort of thing. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Another thing that I've just discovered about the amp is the dwell control, having the three uh, knobs on the reverb. So you can set the, and get this really long reverb, but not a lot of reverb, right? So sometimes I'll, I'll use that, so maybe take that down. So you get like this sort of bed of, Beautiful. you know. Another thing I find interesting is that after having a conversation with you is that you've dispelled with your pedal board for the most part. Yeah, I well, because it's got the tremolo on board, it's got the reverb, you know, this very flexible reverb on board, and it's got all kinds of uh, kind of pedals built in here, like distortion pedals of different overdrive pedals mm -hmm. with different character, right? That I don't, I mean, other than that, it's just all that's missing is a delay or and a modulation, and I find that. I don't really miss it. Like, I, I like just plugging straight in, and I find that it, I can get away with it with this amp. Well, with what you're doing with it, like <clears throat> what I'm listening right now, I, I'm not missing the pedals either. <laughs> and I find that I've been using it myself, as you know. And uh, I have a, a pedal board because it's like my security blanket. Yeah. You know, I feel good when I look at it, but I don't have to step <laughs> on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure.